Before the round begins, I'll also read the Aurelia passage to demonstrate my pronunciation of Latin. Aurelia, cui urbs placebat, erat in Egypto cum familia sua ingenti et eclo suo, tredecim ludos magnos ios in amphitheatro Alexandriae spectamat. Tandem, hic equus ieratus domum reculere coipit. Ehe! Without further ado, congratulations to all three teams for making it here, both physically making it to this tournament and then making it through the first four rounds. And here we go. 2022 Harvard Kirtanen Advanced Division Final Round Toss Up One for any player on any. I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> that would not have been a good start. Toss Up One for any player on any team. Who was Hecuba's mother? was a trivia question proposed to guests by what emperor whose reign saw B2? Claudius. Sorry? I will repeat. Who was Hecuba's mother was a trivia question proposed to guests by what emperor whose reign saw the revolt of Florus and Caesar? Probus. Sorry? We're reading for the AT. Who is Hecuba's mother was a trivia question proposed to guests by what emperor, whose reign saw the revolt of Florus and Sacrovir, and the victories of Dolabella and Blysus over Takfarinas? A4? That is correct. I was really hoping someone would buzz on who was Hecuba's mother and say Tiberius. <laughs> amazing confuse everyone. But bonus one. What three-word Latin phrase, similar but not identical to a famous quote from tragedy, did Tiberius supposedly use as his motto? Um, no answer. Alright, this is Oderent Dum Provent, as opposed to Dum Metuan. And bonus two, like Julius Florus and Julius Sacrevere, what two chiefs of the Treveri, both of whom have Julius in their name, later worked with Julius Civilis to rebel against Vespasian. Julius Classicus, Julius Tutor. That is correct, so that gives you 15 points on toss of one. Toss of two for any player. Of the words parody, disparage, apparel, and pay. See there? Disparage. Sorry? Repeating, of the words parody, disparage, apparel, and pair, which does not belong? A4. A parody? Parody is correct. Which does not belong because it does not even derive from Latin. <laughs> parody being from para and hodos in Greek. Bonus one. Of the words satire, imposthume, affidavit, ague, and ditty, which does not derive from Latin? Satire? Yes. Sorry, it is imposthume. And bonus two, of the military ranks admiral, colonel, sergeant, commodore, and lieutenant, which does not derive from Latin, since it comes from an Arabic word for a military leader? Admiral? Uh, Admiral is correct. I was also informed that I made a misstatement parody is from Iago to sing rather than Hodos. So let the record show that uh, there's a reason this is Kertaman and not Iago. Uh, all right, so that's another 15 points on toss of two, and then we went to toss of three. In the Iliad, who vowed to sacrifice a hundred lambs before striking a dove to win the archery contest at Patroclus's funeral games, after which he returned to his homeland A4? Thames. Sorry, C3? Very nice. That is correct. After which he returned to his homeland Crete alongside Idomeneus. Bonus one. What item from Eleon did Meriones give to Odysseus, which was originally stolen by Odysseus's grandfather Autolycus? We call Eleon. Um, e L E O N. Need an answer. Um, 
Heracles is arrows. Sorry, this is the helmet of Amintor. And bonus two, Meriones was responsible for some of the most cruel wounds in the Iliad. Who was the builder of Paris's ship who was struck in the right buttock? Um, you're, you're Ibelis. Sorry, this is Pericles. So that's 10 points in toss of three, and we'll move on to toss of four for any player. Writing perhaps to celebrate Claudius's invasion of Britain, what author provides fabulous descriptions of distant or scarcely known city? That is correct. In his day, situ orbis or chorographia. Bonus one. Upon what first century Greek geographer from Amasea did Pomponius base much of his work? Uh, I'll spell Amasea, please. Um, A M A S E A. Oh, it's time. Oh, how saying yes. Sorry, this is Strabo. And bonus two, what historical figure who is better known for his military and political exploits drew up a gigantic map of the entire world accompanied by commentary? That's Agrippa. Agrippa. That is correct for 15 points on toss of four. And we move on to toss of five, after which we will have a score check. Toss of five. Of the words spuma, glyba, Manichae, Planitiae, and Alvos, which is being described in the following sentence. Cum salum ice before. Spuma. That is correct. Cum salum aestuat hanc materiam albam in mari videas. Bonus one. Of the words rux, favilla, formido, frustum, and fucus, which is being described in the following sentence. Est materies atra et saipe incandescens, quae post incendium superest. Can you repeat the list of words? Um, Frux, fawilla, formido, frustum, fucus. Oh, Sorry, Fucus is a drone, like the type of bee. We are looking for Fawila. And bonus two of the words Amentum, Akera, Angelitus, Anona, and Antemna, which is being described in the following sentence. Hoc saipe ut ovidianis verbis utar, e lasso venit ore. Did you repeat the list? Amentum. Akera, Angelitus, Anona, and Antemna. Angelitus. That, that is correct. The quote was a lasso when it order comes from a tired mouth, and Angelitus is panting. So, can you get a score check after five? Yes. Um, the current score check. Uh, Ross Green with a score of 30 points. Uh, Boston Latin School Team B with a score of 15 points. And basis we see at 29. Perhaps by my fumbling of papers here, you may have guessed the next question is a visual question. I will hand with the materials. At my signal, you will have 15 seconds to open, no, you're not opening, you're flipping them over, and examine them, after which I will read the question. You may open the visual. Alright. Thus, pictured are examples of four types of Roman wall construction techniques, which are all named a different type of opus. Please identify the type of opus exemplified by panel A, named for its re A4. Opus quadratus. Sorry, C3. Opus testudinum. Sorry, repeating for the B team. Please identify the type of opus exemplified by panel A, named for its resemblance to a net. 
D4. Opus reticulata. That is correct. Do you want to show the visual for the new uh... <laughs> <laughs> One, identify the type of opus exemplified by panel B, named for the haphazard placement of the uncut stones that make it up. Sorry, this is the opus in carton. Uh, here, regular opus. And bonus two, identify the type of opus exemplified by panel D, named for a Roman province featuring many examples of it on monumental works. Opus Asiaticum. Sorry, it's Opus Africanum. Mm -hmm. So that's 10 points in toss of six, and we'll move on to toss of seven. What genre did Cicero hope would be an Opus Oratorium Maxime? A4. History. That is correct. Criticizing writers such as Gaius Panius and Licinius Macho while giving higher praise to Coelius Antipater's seven book monograph. Bonus one, Gaius Fanius was the son-in-law of what man, a member of the Scipionic Circle who, like Scipio himself, was accused of writing Terence's comedies for him. Gaius Lilius. That is correct, and bonus two. In the same passage of Cicero, he remarks that what Roman historian, quote, endeavors at something childish, such that he seems to have read only Clitarchus and no other Greek. Um, Cornelius Asena. That is correct. For a full 20 on toss of 7. Toss of 8 for any player. What office, aided by the Procurator de Minucia, was abused to cause Cleander's death? C3. Um, Praefectus Alona. That is correct. Was abused to cause Cleander's death? and held by Gaius Tyrannius, whose time as prefect of Egypt taught him the supply chain that helped Rome's poor. Bonus one, to what prefecture, which originated early in the monarchy, or which originated in the monarchy and was held by Lucretius Tricipitinus, did Augustus appoint Messala only to have him retire after six days? Uh, I mean, no, it's Perfectus, we deal well. Sorry, this is the Perfectus Verdi, the urban prefect. And bonus two, what man, who may have been Perfectus Urbi, but is listed by Livy as a Perfectus Anoni, exposed Spurius Milius for treason while making his own distribution of grain in a public capacity? I didn't answer. Ahala. Sorry, this is Minucius, Lucius Minucius Esquilinus, Augurinus. No relation to the title Procurator de Minucia from the toss up. So that's 10 points on toss up 8, and we move on to toss up 9 for any player. Note to players there will be an extra clue after two readings. Say in Latin, that C is too wide to be crossed. C3. Illa, mare, latios, est, quam, ut, uh, trans, aeoptic. That is correct. If you look mare, latios, est, uh, the, the extra clue is going to be you can translate the sentence using a quamwood construction. Bonus one. 
using the word ante, say in good classical Latin, she will not return home until she finds her brother. Ante, space quantum assist. No home known. Red the eight. No, red the eight. Ante, she finds Ante, she finds her brother. Brought around until she should find him when he ate. Um, and then no one no one. Right. Uh, we didn't answer. Uh, mm. Ante Fratram in when he ate quam domum known redibit. Sorry, you flipped it. It's non ante domum redibit quam fratrem in veniet. She will not return home before, earlier than she finds her brother. And bonus two, translate the following sentence from English to Latin using the equivalent within indirect discourse of a future perfect indicative. He said that whoever caught a dumb would receive a reward. Dixit Aliquem Columbam Cape Primium Ray Cap Sorry, so you're close, but um, it's for whoever we know whether quis quis or qui cum quae, and then subordinate clause within indirect discourse takes the subjunctive, sequence of tenses requires them to be pluperfect subjunctive rather than perfect. Those are the two that can stand in for <coughs> indicative future perfect. So deep said quis quis columbam ke pisat, eum primium a capturum or pre capturum, as you said, essay. So that's 10 points on toss of 9, and we'll move on to toss of 10, after which we'll have a score check. What island, home to Hylos's mother Melite, served as the refuge of a Euboean woman who had nursed diet? Corfu? Sorry, A4. Scaria? That was correct. Served as the refuge of a Euboean woman who had nursed Dionysus and the adopted homeland of natives of Hyperea, who were led by Narcithus, Scaria, or Drapane, or Phaeacia. Your first bonus, Narcithus led the Phaeacians from Hyperea since they were being harassed by what neighbors? The Kyclobes one. That is correct, and bonus two, what son of Narcithus died to Apollo on the day of his wedding? Rexanor. That is correct, for a full 20 and toss of 10, and can we get our score after 10? The current score stands at uh, Roskew with 70 points, Boston Rat School Team B with 25 points, and Basis DC with 45 points. Alright, moving right along to toss of 11. What region was the destination of a 417 AD voyage described in the poem De Reditu? C3? Sorry, um, I will repeat. What region was the destination of a 417 AD uh, voyage described in the poem De Ready to Suo? Uh, featured a river described in an apillion by Arsonius and was the site of Arsonius's birth. A4. Sorry. Um, 
I'll repeat, what region was the destination of a 417 AD voyage described in the poem De Reditum Suo, featured a river described in Napoleon by Arsonius, and was the site of Arsonius's birth? All right, I've read the question twice, seeing no other buzzes. You all are on the right track, but we are going for more generally just Gallia. And I'm looking, I'm looking to see if I should have anti-prompted you on that, but I don't think the data that you suo describes a voyage to Gallia Narbonensis specifically, so I don't think I could have anti-prompted. Also, it has been pointed out to me that there are those who identify Scaria with Corfu, so it may be in order to read a replacement question. Uh, if you guys both consent to that, because it seems that Jonas's answer should have been acceptable. So, the replacement bony, which are going to be on a completely different subject from the toss-up, but suppose you got the 10 points for the toss-up, and then your bonus one is the rape of Proserpina is said to have taken place near what city in central Sicily? Bonus two, Persephone's eventual return to the upper world was celebrated by the Eleusinian Mysteries and what festival attended only by women? The rain games. The rain games. Those were only by women, they are not the answer here, which is the Thesmophoria. T-H-E-S-M-O-P-H-O-R-I-A. Thank you. So that means that we're subtracting 20 points to Y and adding 10 points to Jonas. All right, moving on to toss of 12. Toss of, paid 10,000 talents to restore Ptolemy Alites to the throne. A4. Oh, let's get it. That is correct. What client of Pompey became consul in 58 BC as a reward for action as tribune in 67 when he passed a law to deal with the scourge of piracy? Rubinius is correct. Bonus one. What explanation had the Senate earlier given for forbidding Pompey from restoring Alites to the throne with Roman military power? The sibling books say it is not right. That is correct. And bonus two, also in 67 BC, another tribune, Gaius Cornelius, passed a law mandating that holders of what position follow the edicts they were required to lay down when they took office? Try choice. That is correct for a full 20 on toss of 12 for Rusty. Moving on to toss of 13 for any player. What three letter Latin word ending, derived from a one word Latin fraction, is used in other, see there? Unx. Unx is correct. Is used in other one word fractions that have a denominator of 12 in their simplest form, like the words for 5 twelfths and 7 twelfths. Bonus one, just as deunx is derived from de and uncia, subtracting one twelfth from one, the fraction dodrons is ultimately derived from de and what other one word fraction? Dodrons and four to five dodrons and day quadrons. Quadrons. That is correct, with exactly the logic that you said. And bonus two, Count from 1 12th to 11 twelfths in one word Latin fractions. Five. Your answer will include the fractions uncia, quadrons, dodrons, and deunx. You have 60 seconds. One fourth, so it's three twelfths of one way. No, two twelfths. One second. Uncia, wait, uncia is at the bottom. And then we have uh, sextons, I believe. No, sextons. Sextons, triens, quadrons. Semis, uh, no, that's the medium. Um, you said one word, right? Yes. Cool. The medium, septonks, pretty sure septonks. And then 
that would be base, two-thirds, dodrons, um, dextrons, because it's base, dextron, base, dex, dextrons, right? Is that what I said? Yeah. Dextrons? Yeah. Yeah. Dextrons? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, dextrons, maybe? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> Complicated. Uh, you're almost out of time. We've talked from 112 to 11 twelfths in one word, lots of fractions. Your answer will include the fractions Unkia, quadrons, dodrons, and dames. You have 60 seconds. You no longer have 60 seconds. Go. Unkia. <laughs> Sextons. Triads. Quadrons. Uh, Unkia, sextons, quadrons, triads, quincos, dimidium, septos, base, dodrons, Dextons, Deoks, Lunas. With your correction, that is correct. <laughs> Thank you. you. You almost had the math wrong. One fourth is, in fact, less than one third. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is a full 20 points in Tasa 13 to Basis DC, and a very impressive one at that. Toss up 14 for any player. Who won his kingdom after defeating the invading Idas, was suckled by a doe and... B3? Elephus? That is correct. And named for the animal, and seized the infant Orestes to force the Greeks to heal a wound from Achilles' spear. Bonus one, a Telephus originally had come to Teuthrania in search of what woman, his mother? Uh, Algae, Correct. Bonus two. What king's shepherds found the infant Telephus on Mount Parthenius and gave him his name? Creon. Sorry, this is Corinthos. So that's 15 points in toss of 14 for the B team. And we'll move on to Tessa 15, everyone's favorite format. Listen carefully to the following sentences adapted from Tacitus's Agricola, which I shall read twice, then answer in English the questions that follow. Domitianus hunc rerum cursum, quamquam nulla verborum jactantia in epistulis Agricolae auctum, fronte laetus, Hectore anxios excapit. Sciebat de risui fuisse nuper falsum e germania triumphum. Emptis hominibus quorum habitus in captivorum speciem formarentur. At nunc veram victoriam ingenti fama celebrari. The second reading. The question. What was the before, um, his face was happy, but in his chest he was anxious. That is correct. What was the mission's mood when he heard of Agricola's victories? Anything along the lines of happy on the outside, but nervous on the inside. Bonus one. What had been the reaction to Domitian's triumph over the Germans? Could you repeat the sentence with, uh, with Falsum Triumphum? Yes. Sciebat de risui fuisse nuper falsum e germania triumphum, emptis hominibus quorum habitus in captivorum speciem formarentur, at nunc veram victoriam ingenti fama calibrari and in the answer. Um, like they, they like bought hostages. Sorry, uh, the reaction was that it had been ridiculed. De risui fuisse. Oh. Data of purpose and day resource. And bonus two, how did Domitian fake his triumph? Okay, so they got like captives to like pretend. Right? Or they like bought people to pretend to be captives. Like he, he paid people to pretend to be captives. That is correct. Yeah, with people having been bought whose appearances would be formed into the shape of captives. So that's 15 points in toss of 15. And can we have our score check? We have lost people of 70 points, BLS team with 55 points, and BSSDC with 75 points. It is very much still anyone's game. Five more toss-ups to go. <laughs> Toss-up 16. What work rejects the words that persecuted Lycombes 
of the Parian poets that inspired it, but wishes a shipwreck on a bad C3. The Ebots? That is correct. But wishes a shipwreck on a bad poet, depicts the witch Canidia, and playfully mocks Mycenas, its author's patron. Horace's Epos is correct. Bonus one, who is this poetaster who receives an inverted propempticon in the epodes? Uh, what work rejects the words of pursued Lycomedes of the Parian poet that inspired it, but wishes a shipwreck on a bad poet, depicts the witch Canidia, and playfully mocks Mycenas, its author's patron? Uh, time? My wish. That is correct. My wish, my bias. Yes. And bonus two, about what man does Horace write that his whole life stands before one's eyes as if it were painted on a votive tablet? Uh, answer. My sins. Sorry, it is Horace's predecessor in the art of satire, Lucilius. So that's 15 points in toss of 16, and we shall move on to toss of 17 for any player. Toss up. What Latin noun is the O in Frederick III's motto, A period, E period, I period, C3? Um, Frederick Bonus. Sorry, I will repeat. What Latin noun is the O in Frederick III's motto, A period, E period, I, before? Omnis. Sorry, are you reading for the A team? What Latin noun is the O in Frederick III's motto, A period, E period, I period, O period, U period, Austriae est imperare blank universo, and appears in papal blessings addressed Urbi et blank to the city and to the world. Uh, A4? Orbis. Orbis is correct. Austria is the Imperare Orbi Universo. It is Austria's role to command the whole world. Bonus one. Catholic depictions of the crucifixion of Jesus often bear a titulus on the cross reading simply I-N-R-I. What is the full Latin for this abbreviation? No answer. Uh, it is Jesus Nazarenus Rex Judaiorum. And bonus two, give the Latin abbreviation used in place of the English abbreviation B period C period for expressing the year relative to Jesus' birth. I guess I should have said BC, but you would know. Um, P and D. Sorry, this is A period, C period, N period, ante Christum Natum. So that's 10 points in toss of 17 for Arabsky, and we move on to toss of 18. Toss of, what deity was supposed to be the heir to Zeus until he was distracted with toys and carried away, after which Athena could only re C3? Ares. Sorry, I will repeat. What deity was supposed to be the heir to Zeus until he was distracted with toys and carried away? After which Athena could only rescue his heart from the top. B3. Zagreus. Zagreus is correct. He could only rescue his heart from the Titans who had torn him into pieces. Bonus one. Who was abandoned by his mother because she feared her father, Protopus, and was eventually shredded to pieces by dogs? Acheon? Sorry, this is Linus. And bonus two, in order to overtake Arcadia, Pelops pretended friendship with what king who he had dismem whom he had dismembered and scattered his limbs across the land? This is Stymphalos. So that's 10 points in toss of 18. And we move on to toss of 19, after which we'll have a score check. <coughs> toss of 19. Note to players, there will be an extra clue after two readings. Translate the following line of poetry. Ex oritur, clamorque virum, clangorque tubarum. C3. 
the clamor of men and the clang of tubas is great. Sorry, uh, B4. Um, both the shouting of men and the and the clanging of trumpets arises. That is correct. I don't think tuba can mean a tuba, and is raised is a little bit of a weird translation for the deponent. Right, so other tongue. And the, the clue was going to be note that mirum is genitive plural. So bonus one. You thought you were done with visuals. You aren't. These aren't really visuals. They're they're text on a page because the sentence is too long for you guys to write down. Oh my god. So bonus <laughs> you know, two. Translate the bonus one. I will read it for the audience. Um, say kuros ke. Oh oh. This is important. Keep in mind that the classicum is a war trumpet. Um, this sentence is se kuros ke kese pudet cum conjuge somnos. Eque tuo quationt miserum cum classica mundum sorex sese sinu. Oh, yeah, you have 60 seconds, by the way. What? You It is shameful to have taken safe sleep with your wife, uh, with your horse, when the war trumpets shake the sad world to have risen up on a wave. That sort of fell apart at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the big issue is that aqua is the preposition a plus uh, quay. Aquos has a short e. So it shames you to have captured carefree sleeps with my wife and to have risen from your bosom when war trumpets shake the miserable world. <laughs> so now, bonus two. You're probably wondering what's going on there. Bonus two. The sentence coiperat trepidus in visa terra de cadere can be rearranged into a well-formed hexameter line that has no elisions and begins with poipedat. Do so, you have 80 seconds. Can you pronounce Koiperat? Koiperat. Okay. Sorry. So the only word that could possibly follow koiperat without lengthening the last syllable of koiperat is inwisa. So you start from there, then koiperat inwisa trepidus de kedere terra. Uh, there's not much to do an ah about in that visual, but should we do it one more time for old time's sake? <laughs> Oh, that's 10 points. Score check. <laughs>
after 19. decided to raise the rhetorician Eugenius to the purple. Bonus one, Victor was the son of what other usurper who was surrendered by his own troops in 388 AD? Maximus. That is correct. Bonus two, early in Valentinian II's life, his regents were his mother and another Frankish general named either. Mero Valdez and then Justina. Or Justina. Yes, sure, you did both. <laughs> uh, so that's a full 20 on the final toss up, and we get the final score. Final result. It was very, very close, which is wonderful. Um, we have uh, Rossview as our winner with 100 points, Bustle Rotten School with uh, Team B with 75 points, and Jason CC with 90 points. 